click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we will be discussing one question of contract costing where based on trial balance we are required to prepare a balance sheet where the expenses partly we are required to transfer to contract account and partly we are required to post to profit and loss account because some of the expenses which are there in trial balance but which are not actually belonging to the contract account let us see how to solve such sum the following is the trial balance of hindustan construction company engaged on execution of contract number 687 For the year ended 31 December 2003. So trial balance is given here. Contract is account three lakhs. Here the amount is given on credit side. That shows what we have received from contract the amount rupees three lakhs. Building it is an asset. It will be recorded in balance sheet on asset side. Creditors liability it will be recorded on liability side. bank balance asset it will be recorded on asset side capital account it will be recorded as a liability material this is the total material amount is shown expense 2 lakhs wages total expenses shown 1 lakh 80000 expenses 47000 and plant value is shown 2 lakh 50000 here we are not sure whether the entire material wages and expenses and even depreciation on plot whether we are required to charge whole amount to the contract account or not that depends upon the further information given in the question the work on contract number 687 commenced on 1 january 2003 that means it covers period of 12 months 1 january 2003 up to trial balance date 31 december 2003 material costing 1 crore 1 lakh 70000 were sent on site to the contract here they have said 1 lakh 70000 total material we can have here 2 lakhs of this 1 lakh 70000 is sent to contract site so it will be debited to contract account 1 lakh 70000 but those of 6000 were destroyed in fire destroyed in accident so out of this 6000 is not used for contract so it will be credited to contract account and it will be debited to profit and loss account wages of 1 lakh 80000 were paid during the year it shows that there has been payment of wages for the contract it will be debited to the contract account plant costing 50000 was used to the contract all through the year so plant of 50000 used for one year so out of this 2 lakh 50000 plant of 2 lakh is used for one year plant with cost rupees 2 lakh was used from 1 january up to 30th september so plant of 2 lakhs is used from january to september that means it is used for 9 months so in this case 9 months depreciation will be charged to contract whereas balance 3 months depreciation which is not related to contract it will be charged to profit and loss account and was then returned to the stores material of rupees 4000 were at site on 31 december 2003 this is the information of closing stock of material this will be recorded to the credit of contract account the contract was of rupees 6 lakhs and contract he pays 75% of the amount of work certified and work certified was 80% of contract price now this is the information they have given here you can see cash received from contract is 3 lakhs this 3 lakh amount as they have said it is 75% of work certified so we can find out the amount of work certified 
Amount received 3 lakhs divided by it is 75% of work certified. So divided by 75 multiplied by 100. This is how we can find out the amount of work certified. So it comes to 4 lakhs. This is the amount of work certified. It will be credited to contract account. Work certified, they say 80% of the contract price. Uncertified work was estimated rupees 15,000. It will be credited to contract account. Expenses charged to the contract were 25% of wages. Here, wages of the contract in all, wages are 180,000. So we have to take 25% of this, so it comes to 45,000. So this amount will be debited to contract account. Now here trial balance shows total amount of expenses is 47,000. Whereas contract we are required to debit 45,000. So balance 2,000. It will be directly go to profit and loss account. Land is to be depreciated 10% for the entire year. So accordingly depreciation will be proportionately charged to the contract and balance will be charged to profit and loss account. Prepare contract number 687 account, costing profit and loss account and make out the balance sheet as on 31 December 2003. We have discussed all the items. Now let us start doing contract account. First information we have here that is contract is amount that is advance received from contractee the amount is 3 lakhs alternatively this amount can be deducted on asset side under the heading work in progress next comes building 1 lakh 60,000 it will be recorded on asset side outer column as there is no depreciation on building creditors 72,000 material total is 2 lakhs of this material costing 1,70,000 were sent to the site. So balance material 2 lakh total expense sent to site 1,70,000 balance material remains in warehouse. That amount will be 30,000. 2 lakh minus 1,70,000. Material issued to site will be recorded here on debit side of contract account 1,70,000. Wages paid 1,80,000 and debit amount to contract account 1,80,000. Expenses 47,000. Of this we have discussed expenses 25% of wages will be charged to contract account. The amount comes to 45,000. Total amount of expenses is 47,000 during the year. So balance 2000 will be recorded to the debit of profit and loss account. Now we have to see the value of plant. Value of plant is given 250,000 and depreciation on plant it has been given. Plant will be recorded as an asset 250,000 whole year depreciation 10%. So WDV will be 2,25,000. Contract account and profit and loss account. Plant of 50,000 is used throughout the year as information given in the question. So 10% of 50,000, 5,000 will be amount of depreciation on that plant. Plant of 2 lakh is used for 9 months. So 10% comes to 20,000. So of this 20,000, depreciation for 9 months will be charged to the contract which comes to 15,000. So total depreciation chargeable to the contract 20,000. Balance 3 months depreciation on plant of rupees 2 lakhs will be charged to profit and loss account 2 lakh 10% for 3 months 
so that amount will be rupees 5000 this is how we have charge depreciation on contract so to the credit of contract account we have to write material lost in accident 6000 this will have effect in profit and loss account on debit side we are required to show material lost in accident 6000 Wages 1 like 80,000 paid, plant depreciation, all this information we have recorded. Material at site 4,000. Material at site, work in progress, contract account credit. Now, amount of work certified, it is 4 lakhs we have calculated. Amount of work uncertified, here they have given rupees 15,000. So, work in progress comes 4 lakh 19,000. Here we have discussed all the items which are given now we can proceed to close contract account first we got your national profit 10,000 this will be split between profit and loss account and reserves for that purpose we are required to do one small working note percentage of work certified to contract price Work certified upon contract price multiplied by 100. Here work certified we have calculated 4 lakhs. Contract price is 6 lakhs multiplied by 100. So it comes to 66.67% as work certified is more than 50% of contract price national profit to be credited to profit and loss account two third multiplied by national profit multiplied by Cash received divided by work certified. So two third multiplied by national profit 10,000. Cash received actual amount received 3 lakhs. Divided by work certified 4 lakhs. So it comes to 5000 which we are required to transfer to profit and loss account. This 5000 will be debited here out of 10,000. 5000 goes to profit and loss account. Balance 5000 will go to reserves. So this is how we have completed the contract account. Now here work in progress will be transferred to balance sheet. Work in progress account work certified 4 lakhs work uncertified 15,000 material at site 4,000 so total is 4 lakh 19,000 Reserves we can show here on liability side amounting to 5000. Alternatively this reserve can be deducted from the amount of work in progress. Now final part we are required to close profit and loss account. Profit to be transferred from contract account is 5000. It will be credited to profit and loss account. Now we can close profit and loss account. It shows net loss of rupees 8000. We have recorded loss here on asset side because it is debit balance 
of PNL account, so it will not be recorded on liability side. If we get profit finally, net profit that will be recorded here on liability side. So we have recorded all the items. Now we can close balance sheet. We'll be taking total of assets and liabilities. Here also we got total 8,77,000. So we have closed balance sheet and it is telling in this question we have learned how to distribute unused plant depreciation between contract account and profit and loss account and telling the balance sheet. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.